in a game seen by millions, by buzzing crowds and roving children on huge TVs and humongous stadiums. What goes unseen most of the time are those small pockets of life where cricket is actually created. Those moments that make those players, those teams, even cricket in general, become what it is. Today I have brought for you one such piece of unseen cricket. Virat, Sachin and Dhoni together on a lazy cricket afternoon. The year was 2011 and India was touring England. Just four months after winning the Mud Cherish Cup, things had started simmering down for this team. What had started off as a victory lap with a series win in West Indies had soon come crashing down as England, at their home, went on to destroy the champions. Test after test, loss after loss, even Dhoni's mid touch seemed to have hit a roadblock here. As for the first time in his captaincy, not only did he lose a series, but he had been completely whitewashed. And then, standing in a post-match conference, after suffering a momentous humiliation just months after winning the World Cup, Dhoni looked neither angry nor crushed. He just looked as usual. Even when facing a sharp line of questioning, he simply replied, this team has now entered a grooming phase. A new generation has to be brought in for the international game now. And the players that I see are generally of two kinds. Those who immediately start scoring from the first match itself. They are superstars in their own right. And then there are others who take some time. And the funny thing is, for all the journalists present there, both these types brought the same person in mind. Virat Kohli. Just three years into the ODI side, making his debut just two months back. For all intent and purposes, he was a junior. But neither his attitude nor his behaviour was that of one. He would easily express himself to Dravid Sachin and Dhoni, hold his own in press conferences, even advising his teammates occasionally. It was easy then to forget that this same player had actually been dropped for a year, having to go back to the trenches to prove himself there. What was seen by people as a shooting star was in fact one of the other players that Dhoni had mentioned who had groomed, moulded and trained himself to reach where he had. And now participating in the training camp for the upcoming English ODI series, he was facing Trevor Penny in the nets, India's fielding coach at the time. The first baller wide, Penny joked, wide start, scared of you. But Kohli did not respond. He kept on staring at him. The hunger that had brought him here, plain to see on his face. Penny, used to this by now, quickly put Kohli through the paces forcing Kohli to get his body posture right. The problem came when he started bowling short balls. Whether Virat was on the front foot or the back, he kept on trying to pull, most of the time, missing the ball completely. Unbeknownst to him, his captain, who had been practicing adjacent to him, had stopped his batting somewhere along the way. And now, he was just standing there, watching Virat. Dhoni remembered quite well, Kohli had been troubled on his debut while facing short balls in the Caribbean. So he could understand why Virat was obsessed over the pull shot. But he also knew quite well that he had to be stopped from doing so. Each shot had its right ball. And when it came to the pull shot, not all short balls were to be hit. He had learned the difference between the two through bitter experience. And now Virat would have to do the same. But rather than saying this to Virat, Dhoni went and stood behind Penny, talking to him after each ball, telling him exactly where he had to ball. After 10 minutes, it was Penny himself who had put the message across. Choose your spots. Wait for the right ball. And so continued the sermon, with Tony directing Penny to ball the length that had been Virat's demise in that series. A ball seeming away after being pitched on length on the off stump. Never play this, Penny said. Yeah, I did this once, Kohli replied. It seemed like an orchestra, Penny and Kohli making the music and Tony directing it without saying a single word. And watching a concert being played, how could the maestro stay back? Horn came Sachin and stood behind Dhoni. He knew quite well why Virat was being tutored here. The England Test series had been a trial by fire with a short ball. Many from the batting lineup failing the test miserably. There was no doubt then, Virat would be on the receiving end as soon as he took the crease. A fact that even Virat himself knew. In a recent press conference, when asked about the short ball, he replied, if you want to be scared of it and run away from it, you'll end up being nowhere. I don't think I'm going to have any problems facing it. So the mentality was there, learned through bitter hardships and repeated failure. All it required now was the right technique to go along with it. And as that same technique was being slowly drilled into Virat, Sachin, every once in a while, would go and correct Virat. 
telling him to amend his posture, follow through with the shot properly. And here, you could see the difference. A captain refraining from saying anything to his junior directly, worried of pressurizing him into doing something that he did not want. And the elder, someone who had been around for three decades at this point, not being apprehensive in the list and directly correcting his junior. Now it may have something to do with the bond he and Virat shared. On his debut, Virat had been pranked by Yuraj and Bhaji to go and touch Sachin's feet. It's a team tradition, they said. Everybody does it, they said. And when Virat actually did it, Sachin was so flustered and embarrassed that he spent the next hour freely talking to the youngster. That had been nearly four years ago. Between being carried on his shoulder and now being labelled as his successor, for Sachin, the next generation surpassing him wasn't a point of discomfort, but a point of pride. So the elder spent the entire afternoon correcting the youngster, with the captain simply watching from the side. A lazy afternoon, immersed in cricket. Two generations of cricket coming together to make the next one happen. Away from the eyes of spectators, away from the glares of the world. So yes, this is cricket. But so is this. Sometimes even more so. The proof of which came in the ODI series that followed. The series in which Sachin had to opt out due to a foot injury. The top scoring Indian batsman was Dhoni. But right behind him stood the youngster, Kohli. A star, a successor, a youngster. Who within three years of this practice session would be himself wearing the captain's cap. I understand this was a very different kind of video, so I hope you liked it. Do give me your feedback in the comment section below. Till then, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day.